Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little Halloween decoration, a little charm here. This is the witch's cauldron and basically the witch is brewing in her own stew. So these are her legs. I'm going to use one loom and our loom is going to be in its original position with the arrows facing down. I'm going to use the exact same colors. So I'll be using about 100 black, 22 of the lime green, 6 of the orange, and 16 purple. I'm also going to use a large cotton ball to stuff inside. You can use stuffing if you wish. And um, I'm going to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is make her legs. I've done one, so I'm going to show you how to do one, and then you're going to pause the video to make another one. So I'm going to start off with our lime green band to match inside here. So I'm going to go down on the left side once. Now I'm going to take my hook and a single black band, and I'm going to wrap this around four times. So one, two, three, and four. So you have four loops. Now I'm going to take three black bands, attach to my hook, support with my finger, and slide this band on, and then go attach to the loom. I'm just going to untwist the bands here. Now I'm going to go down once using three of the orange bands, and then three of the black bands. Now I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to take a single purple for her shoes and I'm going to wrap this around three times. One, two, and three. So you have three loops. I'm going to slide this onto double purple bands. Touch, support, and slide the band on and then place on the loom. Now I'm going to take three purple, push these bands down, and I'm going to go down once. Now I'm going to take a single purple, and I'm going to go down once, but I'm going to double it. This is going to be the heel of her boot. Push down. Now taking three bands of the boot color, I'm just going to go at the peg above and go down to the middle. So from the left down to the middle. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and your seventh peg down to the middle. Three more bands from the center down to the right. Now I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to cap the end on the right four times. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to take another single purple and I'm going to cap the end on the left four times. One, two, three, and four. Now taking your hook, you're going to reach down in the bottom on the left, moving that cap band out of the way and you're going to grab this bottom single that we looped around and bring it up. Now going to the right side, I'm going to move this cap band out of the way and grab my bottom three bands and bring it up to the middle. Now reaching in the middle, move these bands out of the way and grab your bottom three ba bands and bring it up to the left. Now reaching in on the left, I'm going to move these bands out of the way and I'm going to loop up once. All three bands go round and your peg and make that teardrop. Now taking a single purple, I'm going to loop this around my hook three times. One, two, and three. And I'm going to reach in and before making that teardrop, I'm going to slide this band on. So just bring the bands around 
your peg and up. Slide this on and then make that teardrop. And now you're just going to loop to the top. It's ready to come off, so what I'm going to do with my hook is just remove this cap band because it's tight. And with my hook, just bring it over and on the right side. And now you can just remove a couple of these bands with your hook. I'm just going to reach in at the top and then just use my fingers to remove the rest. And this is what you should have. So basically to fix this, I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to pull these cap bands at the heel part and at the front and just bend it a bit. I'm just going to fix the tension here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring two of these black loops to the other side now. I usually do this at the end of my videos when I add these. So I'm just going to take two of these loops one at a time, it doesn't matter which one, and just bring it to the other side of the boot. And now I'm just going to twist this bottom part of the foot just a little bit with my hand. I'm going to remove this off my hook and I'm going to place down. So please pause the video and make yourself another. The next thing we're going to do is make these little pieces that are inside and they're going to look just like this. A single with a cap band three times. You're going to need a total of 10. So I'm going to show you just how to do two. I might not even need to show you how to do two. So you can go ahead and just make 10. So basically I'm choosing the lime green. I'm going to go down once and you can do the same thing 10 times around your loom. And just take a single band and cap the end three times. One, two, and three. I'm going to do one more. A single band, go down once, a single band, and you're going to cap the end three times. One, two, and three. So I'm going to loop up, so I'm just going to reach in, moving that cap band out of the way, and grab that bottom single band and make that teardrop. For the other one, move the cap band out of the way and grab that single. And all you have to do is basically you can remove them and just push them up onto your hook until you have a total of 10. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom part of the cauldron and I'm going to go around using double bands, black color, and I'm going to start from the left up to the center and I'm just going to twist the band around so it becomes a figure eight. Now going from the center down to the right, twisting the band, double bands, going from the center down to the right. For this first row, I'm going to use double bands and I'm going to twist them. Going down three times on the right. Just like that. Now I'm going to close this off, so I'm going to go from the right down to the center, twisting the band, the double bands. Now repeating on the left, you're going to go down three times, one, two, and three, and close it off. Now I want you to push your bands down, and I'm going to do my next row, which is black, and from the left up to the center, 
single band, center down to the right, and go down three times on the right, just on top of the other bands. Two, and three. Closing it off from the center to the right, and repeat on the left. One, two, three, and close it off. Now we're going to take our pieces, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take one of these pieces and I'm going to attach one end at the top center and the other end at the second peg going down in the middle here. Now we're going to take our feet and what I want you to do is I want you to have them going the opposite way just like that. So one is going to face the right and one tip is going to face the left. There's the heel and the tip. I'm going to take, I'm going to turn my loom around, okay? And my arrow is going to be, my top is going to be facing towards the right, just to make it a little bit easier to attach. I'm going to take the first boot, where the tip of the boot is facing the top of my loom, and I'm just going to put the boot to face to the bottom of my loom in here and place one end on the second peg and the other end on the third peg in the middle and just push the boot down. I'm going to take the other boot where the point will be facing the bottom of my loom and I'm going to attach I'm going to put the boot in the loom at the bottom and just attach one end on the third peg and the other end on the fourth peg. Push the boot down and you can hide it inside. Now taking one of these pieces, I'm going to take one end and attach in the middle at the fourth peg and the other green right at the bottom at the fifth peg. Now to attach the rest of these pieces, I'm going to take this one and attach to the first on the left and bring it down to the second in the middle and repeat on the right. First on the right to second in the middle, push your band down. Taking the next piece, I'm going to attach to the second on the left up to the second on the right. One end and one end. And repeat on the left. Second in the middle, one end, and the second to the middle for the other end. Now for the next piece where I'm going to attach is the third on the left up to the third in the middle. And the next piece, third in the middle, down to the third on the right. The next one, will be the fourth on the left, up to the fourth in the center. And the last one, on the right. Fourth in the middle, down to the fourth on the right. I don't need to fill in this area. We have more than enough. Now with your hook, we're going to bring some of these bands over. So I'm going to start at the bottom in the middle and I'm going to bring two bands at a time over and then another two bands. So a total of four is going to go over. That was two and four. So you should have one green and two black left. We're going to repeat that all around. Bottom two and then the next two. One, two. 
So you'll have two black and one green. You're going to go all the way around, two, four, two, and four, bringing four over, top center, two, and four on the right. Two, four, two, four. The bottom on the right. So each peg will have two black and one green. You're going to just push your bands down slightly. At the bottom in the center, we're going to take a single black band and we're going to cap it three times. So go around three times. One, two, and three. Now I'm just going to loop the green area. So I'm going to start at the bottom in the center. I'm going to move this cap band out of the way and I'm going to grab that single green band and bring it up to the middle. Now on the left, I'm going to grab that single green band just going, just like this, bring it over, and you're going to bring it to the fourth peg going down in the middle, push your bands down. On the right, grab that single green and bring it up to the fourth peg going down in the middle. Fourth peg in the middle, you're going to move all these bands out of the way and you're going to grab that single green band that we have the leg on, move these bands out of the way, go around your peg and up. On the third peg on the left, you're going to grab that green and bring it up to the third peg in the middle. Push your bands down and repeat on the right. Grab that single green, bring it to the third peg in the middle. Reach in at this third peg in the center, grab that single band that we have that leg on and bring it up. Now on the left, grab that single green and bring it up to the second peg in the middle push your bands down, repeat on the right, bring it up to the middle. Now you're going to reach in on the left at the top peg and you're going to bring that green band down to the second peg in the middle. On the right, grab the green band, bring it down to the second peg in the center, move these bands out of the way and you're going to reach in for the bottom single band and bring it up to the middle. All the green is done and I'm just going to push all of our bands down. Now what we're going to do is with your hook at the bottom in the middle, you're going to bring these two green, uh, sorry, two black bands over. So you'll have three bands left. At the top center, you're going to reach in and grab those two black bands at the bottom here and bring it over. Push your ends down. Now I'm going to go around the loom five times, so five different rows, and then we're going to close it off with a sixth one. So starting with a single black band, I'm going to go from the left up to the center, center down to the right, and three times on the right. One, two, and three and close it off from the center up to the right. Repeat on the left, go down three times. One, two, oh, three, and close it off. Now we're just going to grab our hook and we're going to grab the bottom two bands and bring it over on each peg. At the bottom here in the center, you'll have three bands. So it's the only one with three. So you're going to bring those over. That was your cap band. And we're just going to bring it right over. You might want to push your bands down to make it easier. And just go from the left all the way up and around. So you're going to go counterclockwise. Top center, you're going to have two green bands. So you're going to bring those over. On the right, just grabbing the bottom two, 
bring them over. So you should have two bands left over. Push your bands down and we're going to do our second row. Left up to the center, center down to the right, and go down three times on the right. One, two, and three. Close it off, center up to the right, and repeat on the left. One, two, three, and close it off. Grabbing your hook again, we're just going to bring the bottom two bands over. Bottom two. Bottom two. So you'll have two bands left. Top center. Push your bands down. And we're going to go around again. Left up to the center, center down to the right, and go down three times on the right. One and two, three. Close it off, up to the right, and repeat on the left. Close it off. Now grabbing your hook, Again, we're going to bring the bottom two bands over, so you'll have two bands left. All the way around. Always make sure that you don't miss a peg. The whole thing will fall apart. Push your bands down, and we're going to go for our fourth row left up to the center, center down to the right, and go down three times on the right. Close it off. Repeat on the left. Go down three times and close it off. Grab your hook and bring the bottom two over again. So you'll have two bands left. Top center on the right. Two bands are left on each peg. Push your bands down. This will be our fifth row. So from our left up to the center, center down to the right, and go down three times on the right. One and two, and three. Close it off. Repeat on the left. One, two, and three. Close this off, left down to the center. Grab your hook, and we're gonna grab the bottom two bands again, and we're going to bring it over. Bottom two, on the right, bottom two. So each one of your pegs is going to have two bands left all the way around. Now you're going to push all your bands down and now we're going to close this off. So we're going to take a single black band and go from the left up to the center and basically we're going to go around again. So from the left down to the right and go down three times on the right. One, two, and three. 
close it off, left up to the center, and go down three times on the left. One, two, and three, and close it off. Just like you made another row. Now you're gonna take a single black and you're going to fill in the middle. One, two, three, push your bands down gently at the bottom, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna attach holding bands and we're gonna make triangles with a single black, but we're gonna double it. And I'm just going to place this on the second pegs going down. Just make sure you're not overlapping the bands that you have around your pegs. Make another triangle with a single, doubled, and one more. So now with your hook, we're gonna bring some of these bands over. So at the bottom in the middle, you're gonna bring two bands. One, the bottom two, two. Push these bands down nicely so they're not overlapping. On the left, we're gonna bring the bottom two over. You're gonna see this band that's going across from the third down to the fourth on the left side. Keep an eye on that, you don't wanna lose that band. We are going to loop after. So bring the bottom two. We're gonna bring the bottom two all the way around and you're gonna keep an eye on the band that we placed on the loom going down. So just bring the bottom two over, bottom two, bottom two. On the right, the bottom two, bottom two, all the way around. Now, you're gonna take a single band and we're gonna cap the end in the middle three times. So we just don't want to go on top of the bands that are around our peg. One, two, and three. Now we're ready to loop. So just like we would loop a figure's face, the face for a figure, <laughs> take your hook and you're gonna reach and move this cap band out of the way and you're gonna grab your top single band and bring it up to the middle. Reach back in and you're gonna grab your next single and bring it to the left. Reach back in, grabbing the next single and bring it up to the right. Now I'm going to loop up in the middle first, each peg. So with your hook, you're just gonna reach in at the top here and you're gonna see your black single and you're just going to loop up. You might wanna push your bands down at the top center. Now on the right, I'm gonna reach in and move these bands out of the way and grab that bottom single band. So I'm just going to grab it and make a teardrop, go forward, and you're going to do this again. Move all these bands out of the way and you're just grabbing that bottom single band. And again, move all these bands out of the way and grab that bottom single, move the bands out of the way, and grab the bottom single and it goes up to the top. On the left, you're gonna repeat, just grabbing the bottom single bands. With your hook, move the bands out of the way, go up. Move the bands out of the way. I hope I'm not going too slow for you. Grab that bottom single and go up. Now you're gonna take a single band and we're gonna do a slip knot at the top. Actually, one second. We're going to bring, with our hook, you're gonna bring the bottom three bands over at the top center. So one, two, and three. 
So you should have three bands left. Now we're going to do a slip knot, reach in, grab that bottom, and tie it off, bringing our knot to the top. Now what I'm going to do is with my hook, we're going to have to stuff this. So I'm just going to remove the bands off the middle peg. And I'm going to move these holding bands out of the way. And I'm going to put my cotton ball through this hole right here. In order to do that, I'm just going to relieve some of the tension. So one, two, with my hook, three, four, all the pegs, all the loops around the pegs on the left, the bottom in the middle, one and two on the right. And now I'm going to just squish this and place inside. You're not going to be able to get it fully inside, but just enough to remove the rest of the loops. With your hook, you're going to have to reach in at the bottom and remove the bands that are around the peg in the center. Now, with your fingers, you're just going to move this cotton ball around, flatten it up, And squish it around. I'm going to hide this slip knot now. So I'm just going to hide it around the side area, just get, putting my hook through the bands and just bring it through, grabbing the end. I didn't hide it very well. So now what I'm going to do is, because the legs are a little bit wobbly, all I'm going to do is find this green band that's holding the leg in. I'm just going to find the other end and bring some of, just to tighten it up, I'm bringing, grabbing the other end and just giving it a tug so the leg is not so loose. And again, just grab going in and just pulling at the bands a bit. Now I'm just going to turn our foot a bit and if you wish you could fix the green bands so they're coming out a bit. So they're not all inside. You can squish it down and it's pretty much done. If it's not standing for you, just pull at the bands at the bottom and squish it down. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed Looming with Cheryl. Please subscribe down below. I have a lot more designs to load and I will see you next time with another. Bye for now.